All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Uh, you know, uh, this is a, will be a short video. We'll try to make it short as much as we can. Uh, we will be back in a few hours from now, and the, the, the topic then will be uh, like you know a nice discussion about things to do, and uh, you know for the weekend. Uh, but now we are going to talk about uh, Corona. <clears throat> Um, you know, uh, uh, always the mad religion of Islam, the hateful religion of Islam, always celebrate death. It doesn't matter where death happened. I remember when tsunami happened and hit Indonesia, the first one who opened chat rooms in a program called Pal Talk, it was Muslim, celebrating, claiming that Allah, he punished the kuffar. Actually, uh, there is a, uh, if you go and search right now, uh, if you search in Google, you will find uh, how the Muslims, they uh, fabricated uh, a picture claiming that the word Allah is located in the tsunami. And you can find it yourself, you know, in, in Google. <clears throat> this is the tsunami and this is the word Allah. And the Muslims, they were so happy at that time. <clears throat> Especially they heard that ten of thousands died. But then the news came that the most of people who die in tsunami, they were Muslims. And all those Muslims who celebrate and have party, they felt ashamed of their stupidity. How in the world anyone can celebrate death? When 9-11, they dance in the street. Anything happen anywhere, the only religion celebrate death is the cult of Islam. The question is why? Why somebody want to be happy for people dying around the world? How that can be a joy to anyone? The answer is very simple. Islam is a very hateful cult. And the second you join this cult, you are part of the hate club. Uh, I I got uh, YouTube. This is YouTube. the The titles are not really in Arabic. They are in English. They are in Arabic. But I did Google translation for the page, so you can see the title. <clears throat> Majdi name The translation here is coming wrong. He is a he is a very well known sheikh from the Muslim Brotherhood, and the Muslim Brotherhood is a very well known, hateful, disgusting. Uh, 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 terrorist organization Allah revenge against our brothers uh, by corona epidemic in China and he is blah 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 talking how Allah he is killing Chinese and he is so happy for that and he is enjoying that and glory to Allah thank you Allah for killing Chinese but you know the funny and the stupid about those people that corona is a spread where Chinese Muslims are exist there's a lot of Chinese in that area, Chinese Muslims. I mean, how stupid you are. Secondly, I mean, if the corona spread in China, do you think corona will choose a person by his religion, you donkey? Do you think corona virus, he will ask him, are you a Muslim? Oh, if you are a Muslim, let us shake hands. I'm not going to get inside you. I mean, this religion is so stupid. So hateful. If you see the comments, you will not believe it. They are so happy, so excited. Allahu Akbar, may Allah do more to them. You know, <clears throat> I will go with the Muslims' belief that their God is punishing the Chinese. So Allah is punishing you too, because the first place Corona disappear appear it was in Saudi Arabia. Actually, it was during the Hajj. This is the first time ever they learned about Corona, the virus as it is today, because the virus have many stages. 
Do you see it? The first time the ill idea, Allah is punishing you because the first place people die from it, it was Saudi Arabia. Stupidity is amazing. And I will go with your logic. As long bad things happen only for those who your God Allah is angry from them. So why you Muslims are defeated in Syria? Why the army of the Assad, which is contained of Shia and Christians, defeated you? Why you are defeated in Somalia? Why you are defeated in Iraq? Why Iraq, Somalia, Syria, Libya are burned? Yemen, it must be Allah burning them. But those are Muslim countries. Why there is millions of refugees of you? And why Allah is not helping you? Right now, as we speak, the Assad uh, uh, army is attacking uh, a big part of Syria uh, where the Muslim Sunni are located. And nobody can defend you. Allah is not there. Erdogan is shaking his bum. And none of you dare to do anything. <clears throat> And if you notice that all countries who they are celebrating with and peace are not Muslims, even those who celebrate some peace, they are protected by non-Muslims. An example, why Emirat as a Muslim country is not a Muslim country and celebrating peace because of foreigners. The majority of population of Emirat are not Muslims. The Muslims there are a very small number of minority. Where is your, which country in the world is a Muslim country is uh, having a good life? Where, where? Where we can find that? Does that mean Allah is punishing you? Right? <clears throat> so, I mean, th th those people, they are so desperate. And uh, and look, you know, China is, a, is a more than a billion and a half population. And there's 200 people die and Allah is punishing China. I mean, are you stupid or what? In China, there is there is, there is a, a hundred times more people die from car accident every day. In Egypt, it's the same. Like this guy who is making this video, the Sheikh is from Egypt. Go and see how many people die from illness and disease in Egypt every day. <clears throat> Where is your God, Allah? And if any of you got sick, if he have money, he fly to America or he fly to Europe. This is the truth. Why Allah don't help you? Why you need to fly to USA to get help? Why Imam Murra don't help you? <laughs> Why Imam Muhammad don't help you? <laughs> Why Imam Al-Bukhari don't help you? Why Muhammad don't help you? Muhammad himself, he died by poison. Isn't it your prophet himself? He died by poison. Where is his God? Hmm? You see, the Muslims, they have a very weird, stupid ideology. They believe that Allah, he saved Jesus. In the same time, Allah don't want to save Muhammad. So their prophet, he died. The, there's a Jewish woman, she used a rat poison to kill him. So based on what you are saying, if somebody died by illness, sickness, poison, Obviously, Allah is punishing him. Okay. Well, your prophet, he died by a rat poison. And he was suffering for years. To the point, Muhammad, each time he say, uh, he say, uh, the poison I eat in Khaybar is killing me. Do you see it? So what is the difference between dying by Corona which will kill you in 24 hours or 48 hours, which is a lot less pain, then somebody is dying by poison for many years. Slowly. Which one is more harmful? Which one is more ugly? 
as you see your prophet saying he you this is your prophet wife saying he used to say which means something he repeat every day until he died what he used to say as you see in the screen I feel the pain what he feel not the joy not the happiness the pain which is doing what which is cutting his artery this is how bad the pain corona if you are infected with it most likely you will die in three four days this guy is suffering for three four years and his artery is cutting off this is how bad the pain is so based on your logic your prophet was tortured by Allah actually the Quran confirmed that the Quran says no torture happened except by the will of Allah I'm not going to stay long but I just wanted to share this and before I finish there somebody told me that Fifi he made a video I'm not going to respond to this Fifi no more but he said in his video as they told me uh, the text I received that uh, uh, the word vagina and the word penis is not religious talk I mean isn't it your prophet he said the one who is proud about his heritage tell him to go and bite the penis of his father suddenly this is not religious talk isn't it your Quran he promised you big women with big uh, women with big boobs isn't it your Quran promising you women who nobody intercourse with their vagina and they describe what is inside the vagina suddenly suddenly brother this is not religious talk brother are you sure brother I mean you are very very brother you are very educated brother I mean look how they run away and they claim that they are religious is that Quran brother huh? is that Quran brother or this is uh, uh, the book of Shakespeare brother what translation you like brother you speak Arabic brother hmm? this is not religious talk your Quran describing what is inside the vagina and you're a prophet he said the one is a proud about in heritage previous before Islam which means his family tell him to go and bite the penis of his father Abu Bakr and the companion they said to the man who is the same they said to him go and suck the clitoris of a lat suddenly brother this is not religious talk brother please don't mention this kids for me anymore they are just a bunch of kids and they get humiliated more than enough this is the religious talk or you know I like it when Allah he said he promised me women with big boobs hmm. not religious talk brother or what you want your prophet he said to a man did you f her did you what did you f her and look at the translation by by the way I mean young fully breasted your God is saying to us fully breasted I'm sure they are not hard breasted <laughs> anyway so guys we will see you in a few hours from now download this video uh, we will be back in uh, around uh, 10 uh, uh, no uh, 11 p.m. Uh, New York time so it will be in a few hours from now let me see what time will be exactly and you know we will not talk about any garbage stuff we will enjoy our time it's a weekend we are the Christians we are the happy people and they are not we don't celebrate death doesn't matter who is dying we pray for Muslims to be safe we pray for Chinese we pray for the whole world and no one celebrate death of others unless he is evil as simple as that in four hours we will be back I want to say thank you and again download and share see you soon take care bye bye